Hi, Derek from RME here, and today we're going to show you how to use RME's Total Mix and Total Mix Remote to turn your RME interface into a remote mixing solution. For today's video, we're going to be utilizing an RME UFX Plus connected via optical MATI to an RME OctaMic XTC. This will give us a total of 12 mic inputs in addition to the line and digital IOs that the UFX has to offer. By using the MIDI over MADI feature, we can have full remote control of the microphone preamp as if it's an extension of the UFX Plus. Because of the power of MADI, we can easily daisy chain more mic preamps to add more microphone inputs to this setup. While we're using the combination of UFX Plus and OctaMic for this video, you can use several different combinations of RME interfaces and microphone preamps to suit your specific needs. Here are just a few examples. To get started, we first want to go to Total Mix on the UFX Plus. We'll go up to our options and check out Channel Layout, Settings, and Network Remote Settings. We'll go to Channel Layout to first customize which inputs playback and output faders we might want to hide that we're not using for this session. I've done this by simply clicking on the ones I want to hide and choosing hide channel in mixer matrix. I can also save that as a workspace by hitting the W key on my keyboard and I've saved two preset workspaces. So by choosing the one that I have saved previously, I will load that and now I have a customized interface for exactly what I want to mix for inputs. I have the first four faders, my mic inputs on the, directly on the front of the UFX, and then my first OctaMic input through channel eight. You'll also notice that the settings on my OctaMic show up here just like they do on the UFX as if it's an extension of my interface. In order to set that up, you go to Options, Settings, Auxiliary Devices. We're coming in on MADI 1 through 8. Choose our MIDI, choose our device type, and hit OK. The last thing we'll do here is we will set up Total Mix Remote by going to Network Remote Settings in the Options menu. Enable Total Mix Remote Server it will display the IP address and port. You need to take special note of these because you will put these values in Total Mix Remote on the iPad. Now let's take a look at the iPad. On my iPad, I simply download Total Mix Remote from the App Store and open it up. And go to the settings in the top right. Choose host connection settings over on the left and simply put in the IP address for host connection one that we took note of on the UFX Plus. And as you can see, we have found two devices on the same Wi-Fi network, the Babyface Pro and the Fireface UFX Plus. Once I've seen that and it's active, I simply choose done. And I can choose between the Fireface UFX Plus and the Babyface by simply tapping in the top right corner. In this view, you can see we have Total Mix on the UFX on the left and our iPad running Total Mix Remote on the right. The first thing I want to point out is in the top right of Total Mix Remote, we have an in, playback, and out button that you can tap on your touchscreen, which allows you to zoom in to the input, playback, and output channels respectively. This is so that you can use your finger swipes on these faders more easily to change settings, EQ, and other parameters that you'll want to do on the fly. Here we can see we're making changes to the master output in Total Mix Remote while also moving the master out in Total Mix. In addition, we can change any volume on the input faders in the top row. As we make changes on the right, you can see them happening on the left in real time. In addition to that, we can make changes to the effects, EQ, and dynamics and pretty much any settings that we can do in Total Mix normally. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. 